rotators or posterior adductors are involved in resisting that motion. Resisting that motion. So again, those are bookmarks or shorthand for anything in the back of the body that would make it more difficult to do this. So that's where I start with just, in this case, some passive internal rotation on the side that didn't internally rotate as easily. How are we doing there? Good. And feeling for that eccentric lengthening in the structures involved. So for sure, I'm working rotators, but also probably gluteus, maximus, etc. So including pulling the hamstring, say, off of the adductor group. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm rolling those hamstrings, the medial hamstrings toward me to help differentiate them from the adductors. Yeah, feel free to move around if I'm in your way. So that's all the passive. So if we wanted to go active, same thing. Is that pressure okay? Uh-huh. So I can use a bigger, broader tool. Go ahead and bend your knee. And when you play with that, and imagine, yeah, barrel rolling your entire, like the whole cylinder of your body. This right cylinder, like if you were just a left and a right cylinder, your, your leg is the lower end of that entire cylinder that includes your rib cage and everything else on this side. Yeah, so you're just experimenting with mm. like a scroll, kind of opening and closing those cylinders, those rolls of the scroll. And my elbow is just increasing proprioception or encouraging lengthening and softening in the places that might be doing less of that. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. We could, of course, extend this up into thoracolumbar fascia or anywhere we saw or felt a connection. What's that like? That, I feel... I feel like uh, the barrel roll, it, I'm trying to focus it in more yeah, the okay. thoracic than the leg. Yeah. Um, so I feel like I'm trying to balance out where I'm starting the momentum from. Yeah, uh-huh. Where you're initiating from. Mm -hmm. You can come back to neutral. And let's see if it can be even less work. So it's just that, that. Oh, yeah. That gets way more specific. We just slowed it down and made it a little smaller. Okay. Any questions? Uh, Thomas didn't have to, you didn't have to keep the other side neutral. Um, meaning you allow the hips, both sides of the hips to rotate really rather than concentrating on the side you're working. Uh, y you're asking if it's okay to allow the whole pelvis to turn? Yeah. I think, I mean, it's not the purpose, but it's as long as she's feeling this connection, I think it's okay if this moves. What I learned moving this more than the second attempt at doing the barrel roll yeah. um, was that it didn't have to be that much work. It just needed to be like moving away from it. Finding it. So she's finding it from the inside out. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. When you went up to um, up to the rectors, were you feeling the the pelvic area loosening, and then it was moving to the rectors? Or? I saw, or maybe I felt a little bit of connection up into here, and so I was thinking thoracolumbar fascia, the wrappings around the rectors and across the low back, as the that's really the mediator between the two sides. It's like the diagonal fibers that cross there, and yeah. <laughs>